Alrighty, and we are back to present day. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Buster. I Shinobi. We have episodes 190 and 191 of our One Piece watch today. The last two or the last couple, I believe three, there's a lot of backstory of Noland and Kalgara. Noland, of course, the, the infamous liar, the, the descendant that Cricket came from, and Kalgara, the all-time like hero of the Shandians. And kind of the relationship they formed, and it, it really got to me. It was a powerful backstory. And now has laid out a lot more of the groundwork of, for what we're fighting for and what this bell really means and what it symbolizes i'm excited to see what we get into to see how this keeps ramping up and i'm guessing luffy trying to get back to anaru if you're new to the channel don't forget to drop us up and hit that big boy bell so miss any future videos and let's hop into this one bro robin just holding chopper's lifeless body he has no need for literally anything anymore He's straight up just dropping it all back to Earth. Dude, he's so far down! There is no way he runs all the way up! At least Nami's on a bike, man, but still! Get into it, yeah. Get into it, yeah. Sajiku, Pierre, Choppa. Aisa, shut up! <laughs> I wonder why the bell is so important to him aside from it just being solid gold. I guess that, that's probably why it's solid gold. Mm -hmm. Well, in the backstory, we saw it fling just up into the air. It just land up high on top of the stock? Nope, they, she will not be back with Luffy anytime now. They, they won't be back for a while. I'm anticipating. Is Usopp just running? Where is he going? He's crawling to look! <laughs> He's right though, they, they need to get out of there. I mean, what else can they do? Run all the way up the stock too? There's no way they can in time. Yeah. It makes sense how she would know then. Yeah, because it straight up was right in the middle of the city. It would shoot up right through it. Yeah. Straight, like, the stock straight up replaced the bell. Oh, wait, there's the top. Where's the bell? That's so high up. Yeah. I doubt anyone's ever been up this high. Yeah, so this was his idea where it was. He had the same idea as, as Robin. I thought it was inside at first, but that wouldn't really make sense how it'd be embedded in it. People would be able to see it. Here he comes! <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's impressive how fast he's moving, I will say. Oh, wait, he just made it to the shrine. He has so much further to go. This is just the old shrine. He's even further up. Oh, wait, he's not that far down. But the shrine was really close to the top. <laughs> he's not even scared or anything. He's just like, I'm just impressed. Dodge, Luffy. Dude, I don't see the bell anywhere, man. Oh my gosh! Giant Jack is collapsing! Yeah. Oh my gosh, you cannot be serious. Bro is gonna fall all the way back down. Guys, dodge! Oh, Luffy just slams into them. Jeez. If this isn't more evidence to just run. Oh, Luffy did, Nami didn't know. Hey, wait, where is Luffy? Well, the true goal is always just to take Shandora back. And the bell is kind of like the whole symbolization behind it. Especially since we know now that Wiper knows the story behind the bell. It's just all about getting that back. He caught on? Dude, Luffy is being pushed to his limits, man, with this giant ball of gold. It's just making everything 20 times more difficult. Yeah, but the bell is nowhere to be seen. It's got a good view of all the destruction going on down below. Oh, he's traveling over there. You could see him moving through the clouds if he was the lightning itself. Yeah, don't just sit there and watch, Luffy! Dude, the, the sheer weight of that. What's his only choice? Oh, wait, he's gonna use the, like, counter and, like, throw himself up, maybe? Like a swing? Oh, oh! Oh, it broke at, like, a terrible time! Oh, Nami's still going. Nice! Hell yeah! Oosh. Oh, oh, there's Nami. Oh, you're in so much trouble. Why would you just run him over? <laughs> That's great! <laughs> it's about to start nuking stuff. What is that? It's just one giant thundercloud? Run, everybody run! Ditch your belongings, just book it! Yo, shout out these white rays still trying to direct people. 
Thunder Cloud wrapped in a spherical shroud? Bro's just gonna nuke it. I think it is like a nuke. He'll just surround the island and then just, just let it discharge. That's terrifying. They're so like helpless. They can't do anything. It's actually a nightmare, yeah. Imagine it being your home too. He has no use for it anymore. He's just gonna just destroy it everything. Dang, and they just all sit and watch as everything is just destroyed. Oh my gosh, the sheer scale of it. There's still so many people here too. I said it's gonna envelop it. Dude, the chief is just like, yep, it is what it is. It's all just, oh my God. Just like that, it's just gone. I don't think they did. The Shanians are like, yeah, I've been there, done that. Dude, did all the white race die? It's just straight up a, a hole now. Oh my gosh. Jesus. Dude, what a way to do it too. Just everything's just gone. The entirety of Angel Island is gone. She, I, I, I'm proud of Connors for still just defending the ship for whatever could happen, but there's nothing they can do. What can Luffy do? What can anybody do? Because now Luffy has a new mission. Yeah, he's here to defeat Enaru one way or another. It's not just a mission for gold now. Where? I don't think it's about the gold. <laughs> No, it's more. But Luffy doesn't know the backstory to it. Is it all for Cricket now? Because he knows he has to find completion in this. It is for Cricket now. Dude, now knowing everything that happened with him and Kagura. He wants to get the bell back down to Earth so Cricket knows it was real. It's not even about defeating Enaru, it's about that. But Enaru's after the bell, so he kind of has to. Oh, he just wants to ring it. Just slam that gold into it if you can find it. It's a noble mission. Enaru's just in the way now. It, so it hasn't rang since it was thrown up here all those years ago. Chopper and his stick. That's what he thought of all that time ago? He wanted to ring it to let Cricket know? Aww, that's so wholesome. And Zoro knows the plan. <laughs> Usopp's face. Come on, Usopp. You've had crazier plans. Downfall's like, what a psychopath. It's all just the end of times. I love this setting, though. It's just the, the thunder, the lightning, the dark skies. Yeah, Enaru isn't necessarily an enemy, but he is because they have the same goal right now. But again, where the hell is it even is it? If it's higher than the clouds, Luffy isn't going to be able to reach it. Oh, here we go. Enaru ain't going to be messing around. Oh, gosh. <laughs> what did Luffy think would happen? Oh, he dropped through. Oh, no, he didn't. Okay. Is that sort of the exact same thing that he did to his, his home island? Can you explain Endless Verth, please? It makes no sense. If that's your conception of the land below, you are poorly mistaken. An even bigger Raigo. He's unbeatable, man. What are they supposed to do? I would say Luffy had somewhat of a chance if he didn't have this goddamn gold on him. Unless he uses it to his advantage. He is sprinting up that bad boy. Uh, he's a god, dude. What do you do? Get back up there, Luffy. Yes. Give out. Oh. Oh, that, okay. He's not even wasting any time anymore. Enru's had enough. Come on, Luffy. You came up with so many good ideas when you were fighting him on the ship. Now he's just desperately trying to get there. I just want to see Cricket's reaction to everything that's gone on. I want him to know everything. I want him to know the truth. Where is the bell? It's a six shot and I appreciate the effort here and what he's trying to do. How is he going to do it? Episode 191, let's go. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, at least they got Amazon on board. Thank goodness. At least they had a ton of ships ready, too. Milky mm. Road's all blocked off. It's gonna be chaos just leaving still. Angel Island's already destroyed. They, they, they just need a way out now. 
Oh my gosh. He's just trying to kill all the stragglers. Probably taking down so many. Just be a hole. Yeah, maybe you shouldn't have snitched. Why are you still taking photographs? Amazon, I'm sorry. If you hadn't snitched to God all that time ago. Actually, no, Inaru would have known anyways. It wouldn't have mattered. Where are he going? Oh, look for the bell, I'm guessing. Dude, it's so high up. How does Luffy expect to get up there? <gasps> oh, there it is. Oh my gosh. I just want to hear it ring. Oh, it proclaimed the start of the conflict because it was as soon as they arrived. So is he just going to take it? Is that what he wants? Damn, this... Oh, what's he kind of hidden? Damn, Nami, give him some hope. I don't have hope. At this point, it feels like Enro's just going to take the bell and leave, and that's it. That's the end of things. Can the bike even carry that weight? Oh my gosh. I was about to say, man. This is so hopeless. It's kind of sad. I even said that Luffy without the giant gold attached to him would still make it difficult. God, how the hell is he expecting to be able to get himself over there? Launch with just the, the ball of gold? The counterweight? You have to acknowledge Luffy's determination at the very least, man. He ain't giving up. He never has been one to, though. I, oh. <laughs> a giant leaf and it fell on Chopper. Wait, there was a compass on it. What the hell? Northeast, southwest, and west is circled. Oh, Nami's telling them where to go? Put down this huge vine so it falls towards the west. What would it? It wouldn't hit his ship, though. His ship is too far up. Yeah. Oh, is it to lean it so Luffy can get like a running start to it? Kind of like a bridge? No shot. Yes, that is why. Get to cutting, people! I wanted to cut back to see how they're going to go about this, though. He's, he's launching the last one. They, they have to hurry. Like, everything is about to just be gone. This entire place will just be nothing anymore. So he wants to just delete everything. Get to cutting, guys! Come on! What are we doing? Hurry! Hmm. He did just take it. What if it rang whenever he picked it up and put it on his ship? How is he picking it up and putting it on his ship? It's gotta be stupidly heavy. <laughs> if she can't stop him, might as well try to help. She knows he's not gonna stop. He always does. He would never let any of them die. Luffy would always give himself for his crew. This is my perception. Imagine she dropped the leaf and it just went like right past them. I still find it funny how Chopper is not even conscious to witness any of this. Neither is Sanji anymore. Chopper will wake up and be like, guys, we have to get to Anaru. Guys, own the priest. He's a big threat. Start cutting. Yeah. Actually, I feel like Zoro can cut it alone. Hi, Ki. Long nose. Usopp doesn't even have a title besides long nose. Damn, it's fucking Chopper. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, Zoro can just do it alone. He's so high up. This is a smart plan. It just depends on how high up he is and how far he is. Okay, but that prophecy didn't even come true, Enaru. So, I mean, he even admitted it himself that the prophecy didn't come true. I don't know why I pictured them having like a group effort cutting it down, but I guess, yeah, it makes way more sense for Sora to just do it alone. One strike? That's all it takes? Damn. That's my swordsman. Oh. Oh. That ain't gonna feel good. At least he already got the cut in. <gasps> Snack! Snack! But he didn't, he cut one part of it. Will it all collapse because of that? Do you need to cut the other side? It's not falling. He's cut through the other, like the other side. Bro, it's too late to say don't be reckless. This is the end of times. Because wow. he knows Cricket. He met Cricket. I want Cricket and Wiper to meet. It would almost be like poetic for them to meet. The descendant of Nolan and the descendant of Kagura. Let's go, Usopp. This is your time. This is your time, baby. As expected. Oh my gosh. Robin! <laughs> A casual, a cake is all rolled up in the leaf. <laughs> Pierre, Sanji, and Chopper. 
Basically, yeah, explaining Luffy's thinking to Wifer. It has romanticism. Look at Usopp go! To make sure that Bella's wrong. It's like it's almost like Robin is starting to like see why these others are like joined Luffy and his crew and follow him. Such a madman, but for all the right reasons. Cricket. I wouldn't be shocked if Viper would want to meet Cricket. It'd be beautiful. He sees their point of view now. He sees why Luffy's doing this. Something of a miracle, yeah. Nola. Come on, Nola. I even think about that. Nola met Nolan. This little snack has been alive this whole time. Dude. Go, Nola, go! Let's go! Yes! Noah, my goat! No, Wiper's gonna take care of it. He's gonna get Luffy there. No. No, not... Not reject. No! Oh my god. That was the third one. They said one could destroy your arm. All right, here it goes. Here's your chance, Luffy. You gotta time it. Oh, Nami's gonna ride it up, and he's gonna like be on the back end. They've got a ramp now. He's <laughs> gonna max it out. Uh, it's now or never. There's no other way they're making it up there. They're one ramp to reach how stupidly high up he is. Oh my gosh, that looks crazy. They'll never be able to ring it. It would be Enoru's forever. It all comes down to this. Nobody can help them anymore. Not a single soul. But I have a bad feeling Enru's going to snipe him out of the air, man. Or will he even see this coming? Oh, no. Well, will he just cover it because it would repel? Dude, it looks like a demon. <laughs> Was he not aiming for them? Mama Raga? He hasn't used that, has he? Oh, gosh. Oh, so they just slowly fall? Dude, so stupidly high up. I'm glad they didn't make it look like just a short five second trip. It is absurdly high up. He won't be able to get anywhere near Anaru. He will literally be on a different level. I, I want to be optimistic, but this still seems so hopeless. All it's going to take is one like hit from Anaru to knock Luffy off board, and then it's just, it's just over. He's going to destroy everything and dip, and that's it. What are they doing with the, with the leaf? Are they trying to fan the fire out? No, they'll just make it worse. Rubber man. Oh gosh. <laughs> it's just sheer chaos, man. <laughs> this damn to be continued screen is so cursed, man. So absurdly cursed. I don't, for whatever reason, see this working out well. And I don't know why. Like, I have a really terrible feeling about it. I think Luffy's gonna be able to get on board, but he still has the golden ball. My only guess is that A, Isa still plays a bigger part than I'm seeing. Because yeah, she's, she has mantra and it's teased out all this time. And we still don't know why she has that. And B, maybe it's just about Luffy using this golden ball to his advantage. Because I think he really could. I just don't know how yet. But I love the sheer just absurdity of everything going on right now. Just that shot at the end with the vine collapsing, Enaru's laugh, the dark clouds, lightning striking, everything. All of Angel Island just watching on as this happens. It's made the buildup over the course of this arc feel worth it because it, it's, it's a true finale. It's really set the stage and, and I'm here for it. Especially knowing the backstory with, with Nolan and Kagura now. Ladies and gentlemen, that has been it for episodes 190, 191 of our One Piece watch through. I cannot wait to see how all of this wraps up. As as always if you're new to the channel which I, I i would assume you're not if this is the first you're watching but if you are new drop a sub and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace peace